This week on Ask an Expert, 3D printing. Welcome to a new year of Ask an Expert, the show where you submit questions to be answered by people around the school. I'm your host, Sam Parody. This week's question is, how does 3D printing work? Here to answer it is one of the staff in what's now called the Learning Commons, which you might better know as the library. Welcome, Mr. Hecht. Thanks, glad to be back. So I see you brought some stuff with you. Is this going to help us explain 3D printing? Sure. Uh, so there's basically two different kinds of 3D printing. Uh, there's a kind that uses UV light to bake a special kind of plastic into layers. Uh, and then there's the kind that we have here at the school, which is FDM, or Fused Deposition Method. Uh, and basically what it does is it takes plastic and melts it into very thin layers and then lays those on top of each other to build up uh, a 3D model. So I brought our uh, 3D pen along today to kind of show you how it works. So you take the plastic and you put it in the one end, uh, and then if you just... Uh, feed it through, then it comes out the other end and melts it in between. And so what you can do is you kind of draw with it when it gets all the way through. And so you can kind of see it's coming out the end there. And so if you're a better uh, artist than I am, you can draw shapes. And you can draw in 3D or you can layer it on top of each other. And uh, that's basically how it works. So think of maybe like a glue gun, where you have the glue stick that's at one end, and then it melts it, and then it comes out much thinner. So that's, that's basically what it is. Now, the 3D pattern isn't really precise, because, I mean, you're holding it with your hand. Yeah. Uh, but if you had a computer that could control where the 3D pattern was going, then you could make really exact-looking models. And so that's how we get things like this, uh, is there's a, a computer that controls the, the hot end of the pen and it goes back and forth and it lays down one layer and then draws another layer on top and they cool in between uh, but they stick to each other and so then you can get something like this or uh, a toy like this where you can assemble it afterwards. Well, That's very interesting. Thank you for telling us more about 3D printing. I hope it helped everyone more, better understand it. No problem and uh, if anyone wants to try it out for themselves uh, they can stop by here in the Learning Commons and we've got the, the pen and we have two 3D printers that students can use. Definitely, well thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> That's all for this week but remember if you have a question that you want answered tweet it to at PA Carlton with the hashtag AskAnExpert and we'll find someone who can answer it for you. See you next week.